What's going on YouTube? In this video, I want to give you some tips on how to understand what defense your opponent's in. You know, simple things about positioning with the DBs that's going to give it away if it's a cover three, a cover two, or a cover four. Just little things to look out for. There'll be a couple of advanced tips in there as well, but we're going to focus on the basics. Um, we did this with Madden 21, but you know, I want to refresh off for Madden 22, and there might be some newcomers that don't really understand what defense is to look out for, and you know, those pre snap reads that'll give away certain things so let's go ahead and jump into the practice field and we'll show you how to read some of these defenses all right the first defense we're going to work with is a cover three sky now a couple things to look for off rip to tell if this is any type of cover three is there a safety in the middle of the field which we have right here so that's already telling me two things this could either be a cover one which is a man coverage with the safeties over the top or this is some type of cover three. Now, the next thing I'm gonna look for are my cornerbacks. How far off the line are they? These guys are about seven yards off the line. So off rip, this is telling me this is some type of zone coverage. The third thing I'm gonna look for is the other safety. Where is he positioned? This guy's about 15 yards off the line. So off rip with those three, those three things I just told you, I'm automatically guessing this is gonna be some type of cover three sky. Uh, those are my pre-snap reads. After that, the things I'm gonna look for the linebackers once i call hut i'm gonna watch what they do if they settle in their zones i know this is a zone and not a man coverage if they sprint towards somebody to try to guard them obviously that's man coverage so that's your basic cover three sky let's go into cover three match and you'll see the difference okay off rip you can see the difference with the safety that i was talking about that was 15 yards off the line he's now about four yards off the line so that's automatically telling me this can be a man coverage a cover one or a cover three match I'm still guessing this is a cover three because the, the cornerbacks are still about seven yards off the line. Normally, if it's man coverage, those cornerbacks are going to be a lot closer. So this is still telling me that this is a match. So those are going to be my pre-snap pre -snap reads. After that, once I call HUD, I'm going to watch the linebackers. Once again, I'm going to watch if they settle down. There's no need for me to look for this safety right here because he's already dropped down. I don't, I don't have to watch if the safety is going to drop down or drop back. I already know he's down here. I know that he's going to go into some type of purple zone or he's going to follow the wide receiver. So the two guys I'm going to look for are going to be the two middle linebackers. They're going to be the ones giving this away once you call a hut. Like I said before, if they kind of settle in their zones, you know this is a zone. If they sprint towards somebody, you know it's going to be some type of man coverage. Let's go ahead and jump into cover two. All right, so cover two and cover four are the ones that are similar, but there's certain things you can look for that's going to give away if it's a cover two or a cover four. First things I'm going to look for are the safeties. Look how close they are together. If this is a cover four, just pay attention so you know when we get into cover four, you'll see the difference between these two safeties. Um, and I know it's not a cover three because there's not one safety in the middle. There's two safeties over the top. Next thing you're going to look for, the cornerbacks. Look how close they are to the wide receivers off the line. They're about three to four yards off the line. Um, you're going to see the difference when we jump into cover four. So th those are going to be the main two things we look for uh, pre-snap to see if they're in any type of cover four cover two compared to cover four now mind you they could easily disguise this as a man coverage because everybody's lined up in front of somebody so your pre-snap read is going to be one of the middle linebackers in cover two it's very um very common for one of these linebackers to just drop straight back and let's go ahead and let them call hut and you'll see what i'm talking about so just watch the linebacker you see that one in the middle he kind of just started backpedaling 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 that's off rip telling you this is some type of cover too and pay attention to the safeties and watch what they do they're dropping back into their zones they're kind of staying tight close to each other so you know this is some type of cover two and not a cover four when we're going to cover four you're going to see the difference with a linebacker he's not going to backpedal like that um but those are your basic pre-snap reads to tell you that this is cover two and not a cover four let's jump into cover four and you'll see the difference all right, this is going to be a cover four drop. Now, like, like I said, look at the safeties. Look how far apart. They're spread out more than they were on that cover two. So off rip, I already know this is not a cover two. Second thing we're going to look for, the cornerbacks. Look how far they are off the line. Now they're about seven yards off the line instead of like three to four. So those are the two main things that you're going to pre, uh, the pre-snap reads you're going to look for to tell if this is a cover four instead of a cover two. Next thing after that, once you call hut, Pay attention to the linebackers. Remember last time I said one's gonna backpedal and cover four, they're not gonna backpedal like that. They backpedal for like a second and then they stop, they watch their zones. But in that cover two, you can see that linebacker just backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. And it's just one, not both of them. 
Um, so those are going to be the reads you look for to tell if it's cover four. The two pre-snap reads you're looking for, are the safeties close to each other? No, they're spread out more than cover two. Second thing, the cornerbacks, they're further back than they would on a cover two. Um, this, once again, they can disguise this as a man coverage with two safeties over the top. But the thing you're going to look for are your linebackers. Do they sprint to somebody when they call hut or they kind of settle in their zones? Right here, you're going to see they kind of just drop back a little bit and they settle into their zone. So off rip, once you call hut, you know that this is a cover four. All right, this is going to be a couple of bonus defensive tips. Um, cover six and cover nine. They're basically cover three, but they have a flat and they have a purple zone out there. Um, and the way you're going to be able to read if they're in some type of cover six or cover nine, cover six and cover nine are basically the same. They're just flipped. So this is obviously cover three. You know, you have three deep zones. You have uh, two guys playing the sides and you have your middle linebackers playing the middle. Um, the way to read that it's a, a cover six or a cover nine, the, the dead giveaway is the cornerbacks. One is three yards off the line. The other one is about seven yards off the line. Uh... Like I said, cover six will be the 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 cornerback is three yards off the line on the right side, and then cover nine will be that the cornerback on the left side of the field is three yards off the line. Um, they're gonna play it like a cover two on the right side of the field, and it's gonna be kind of played like a cover four on the left side of the field. But you're still gonna get the same feel as a cover three because that's basically what it is. Um, but the simplest way to see if it's a cover three or a cover six or a cover nine is the cornerback's going to give it away. Uh, you won't see that in any other coverage where one cornerback is low and one cornerback is high. That's the dead giveaway to read if it's a cover six or a cover nine. I just wanted to add that in there. So just in case something looks funny to you, you're like, how come one cornerback's closer than the other? But well, that's the simple reason right there because cover six or cover nine. So just wanted to throw that in there for y'all. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to give y'all some tips on reading coverages. Now, this is one thing that shouldn't change even with the patch. Um, you know, DBs are gonna line up the same. That That's just how it is in every matting. You know, cover three is gonna look like cover three, cover four is gonna look like cover four and so on. Um, this is one thing that will not change no matter what. Um, so this is going to be the first real tip video for Madden 22. If you have any other questions or you need help with anything else, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I have some defenses that can help you as of right now. Mind you, defense is just trash this year as of right now. Um, hopefully there's a patch sooner than later that's going to help the defense improve. But I do have a couple of defenses that will help you, um, you know, not get bombed so much. Things like that. And we're going to drop them here pretty soon. Uh, I just wanted to give a, a, you know, a quick tip video, a refresh from Madden 21. And for any new heads out there that's getting started in Madden, has never really played it before. Uh, though these are simple, basic tips that will help you separate cover three from cover two and things like that. Um, if y'all enjoy videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Give me some feedback. And like I said before, if you need help with anything else, uh, you need uh, you need help understanding this or that. Let me know and I can help y'all with that. Uh, we got a couple more tip videos coming out with offense and how to do certain things on that side of the ball and um, how to disguise defenses. Like I showed you how to read it. Now I'm going to show you how to disguise it uh, and to give your opponent different looks. With all that being said, though, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it.